Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. Today we're going to talk about jigs. What better bait is there than a jig for consistently catching big bass? You can do everything with it. You can flip it, you can punch it, you can swim it. But what you can't do is you can't not put a jig trailer on it. There's an art and a science to picking out jig trailers. They can be used as a tool to slow the sinking rate of the jig. Now we've all heard about guys talking about putting on a bulkier trailer to slow the fall of the jig. Now we're gonna test this out now. Now I'm gonna show you a video of two identical half ounce jigs. And there's a concept in science known as the control experiment, which we're gonna to employ to help us solve the riddle of jig trailers. So what we're gonna start out doing is we're gonna drop both these identical half ounce jigs at the same time to see if they both actually fall at the same rate before we start introducing different jig trailers. Because even though they're identical, they could be slight inconsistencies of the bulk of the skirt or the amount of lead or even the hook. So now comes the fun part. We put our favorite trailers on these jigs to see what effect they have on the fall rate. And we played around with the different actions, flapping versus gliding, and different bulkiness of the plastics themselves. In this video of a non-flapping or gliding trailer, a bulkier trailer on the right falls just as fast as a small trailer on the left. When trailers of a similar bulk are matched against each other, what we find is that the flapping action is what causes a slower fall rate. So it's not so much how bulky your trailer is, it's the action of the trailer. So if it flaps a lot, it increases the drag and that's what slows down the rate of the fall. So the other thing that would make a difference is how buoyant your plastic is. So before you put it on your trailer, you can drop it in the water and see if it floats. If it does, then it's gonna slow the rate of that fall even more. So remember, the falling action of a jig is slowed down by the flapping action of the trailer and not by the bulk. Now pros want to talk about slowing the rate of the jig's fall in cold weather and they also tout using a gliding bait with minimal action, but that's simply not attainable. If you truly want to slow the fall of your jig, you need to use something that flaps. If you want to do nothing action on your trailer, then be prepared for a faster fall. So chew on that next time you're picking out your favorite trailer. I'm Jimmy Liao from Fish Code Studios. Until next time, tight lines.